My name is Brian Claxton. And I'm Joel Harris. And we're here to talk we to you about the, the, the Karen Project. Karen Project. So the Karen Project consists of Joel Harris, Brianna Harris, Tom Amend, Patrick Atwater, Ben Parrish, and myself. Full disclosure, I didn't know what a Karen was until recently. Uh, but when it explained to me, it's this really cool idea. You see these things all the time on trails and I just never knew what they were. They're these piles of rocks. A lot of times they'll start with larger stones on the bottom and kind of stack them up. Uh, they're on hiking trails and they're used to designate the, uh, they're used to designate where the trail goes in case the trail gets washed out. So we decided on the Cairn Project as a name because we kind of like the idea of this album representing some sort of marker or mile post in our development. We are all from different parts of the United States, which is kind of interesting and an interesting uh, part of this band because we all grew up in different areas. Joel and Bree are from Alabama, Patrick is from Atlanta, uh, ben is from Washington, I'm from Wisconsin, and then Tom is from Wyoming. So none of us were actually originally from Colorado. And we feel like there are a lot of great tunes in the album. Uh, they're all original tunes for members of the band. Uh, our process was when we first started rehearsals, we just had everybody bring in a couple original tunes. And then uh, Brian and I kind of narrowed down uh, the tunes that we felt would make a cohesive record. Uh, because that's something that we really value, yeah. um, is making a cohesive record that plays very well from start to finish. Um, we didn't want just a collection of, of tunes, we want the whole thing to progress and kind of tell a story. So that's how we that's how we selected the tunes that are on the record. And since we're all such great friends and, you know, since the personalities of the band just fit so well and these guys are so great, um, you know, it's such a treat to play each other's original music. And then I feel like we, we each have a license in our own small way to make little changes that best fit us and that best serve the music. Um, and since we all trusted each other to do that, I feel like the music really kind of elevated as a result. It was so great to work with, with Sandy. Uh, he engineered our record, he also mixed it. Um, and uh, like Brian has said in the past, Sandy really uh, kind of locked into our vision and and we always felt like he was making just very great decisions. We learned to trust Sandy very quickly. Um, and he was very committed to getting everything right. So uh, we, we feel so great about that because you're pretty much down to the last detail. You know, we've, we've paid attention to everything. We're, we're so proud of the, of the product. secured a really awesome photograph um, from the artist Michael Grab uh, from Gravity Glue uh, Productions. We also are super excited to have uh, our good friend Annie Booth um, doing the album art uh, for us. Colin Bricker, uh, who owns Mighty Fun, did our mastering work. 
and Colin is a, is a blast to work with. Mm -hmm. And again, I'm just totally locked into our vision. Um, it was just a very natural sounding space. Uh, we were so happy that we could get Brian out in the big room. Mm -hmm. So we get this really nice expansive drum sound on the record, uh, which I, I think we're all really proud of. Incredibly excited uh, to share it with you.